the cute little, oh, oh gosh, the yeah. red belly. It's very aggravated, skin conditions galore. <laughs> it's distressing, like she's in pain, she'll cry, she doesn't want to get up out of bed. That inflammation must be so sore for her and there's scabs all over her. Really, this dog is suffering. Bella, we have to fix you. In Sydney, worried owner Megan has brought petite Shih Tzu Bella to see Dr Rob. Okay, Bubba. Megan's desperate to find a solution for the two and a half year old's chronic skin problems. Bella's usually really energetic and fun, but she's got a skin condition going on, so she's not the life of the party at the moment. She's like half herself. Okay, Bubba. I'd say it started probably six months ago with Bella. She's gotten worse in the last four weeks. So it's flared up, and you know, her skin's just gotten really bad. She's like red raw, she's cut herself open. It's constantly like, Bella, stop scratching. And then she'll lick her paw, and then it's like, Bella, stop licking your paw, and it's something else that's constant. She's just not Bella anymore. <laughs> Poor Bella's illness has reached a point where it's affecting the entire family dynamic. So Bella's got another uh, friend, I guess you could say. She's a Maltese. They usually run around, they'll play. They're like best friends when they want to be. But at the moment, she doesn't want to go outside. She doesn't want to like play. So my other dog's now lonely as well. So we've gone to previous vets and just never really found a solution to Bella's skin problems. So we were recommended Rob. Fingers crossed. Uh, now Bella is next. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Dr. Rob. I'm Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you with a cute little... Oh. Oh gosh, the yeah. red belly. It's very aggravated, skin conditions galore. <laughs> Such a gorgeous face. Well, let's come on down. Let's find out what's going on. Okay, pretty gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> How long have you had her? Uh, about two years. She's very cute. So tell me, what's going on with her skin? What's been happening? Um, it started off with her scratching non-stop. Oh. She got a few, like she pretty much cut herself open and it's just, the cuts are gone, yep. but now it's like, I don't know if it's infected or it's just, she doesn't stop scratching. And if she stops no. scratching one spot, it's licking her paw, it's rubbing her face, her ears. A lot of crusts in between. Yeah, the she's, a she's very crusty. It's distressing, like she's in pain, she'll cry. She doesn't want to get up out of bed. Wow, yeah. even the back legs have a lot of infection and yeah. I can feel the little lymph nodes here, they're quite up. That inflammation must be so sore for her and there's scabs all over her. Really, this dog is suffering. Bella, we have to fix you. I think uh, her whole body's in crisis And the smell, mode. and that's bacteria. Yeah, yeah oh, she stinks. The smell is secondary <laughs> yeah. to the inflammation. Yeah, that's yeah. the allergy driving that inflammation. It could be food allergy, um, it could be plants. So you've yeah. got to look at the, the plants in your area, okay. especially buffalo grass is bad and yep. any vines are notorious. Okay. I want you to maybe take some pictures so next yeah, time of you course. come in, yeah, I, would have, I can have a look yeah, at them and I'll I know what I'm looking clue. at. Um, <laughs> just check her over, make sure everything else is right yep. first Perfect. before I concentrate on that. Dry flakes litter the clinic bench, showing the awful condition of Bella's skin. We'll just check her mouth. Has she been having trouble eating or anything like that? Um, she's definitely changed the way she's eating. It's taking yeah. longer. So. It's inflamed around the mouth. Even. So, there's infection. We know that there's yeah. inflammation, there's allergy. We're going to attack everything at once. Okay. Poor little mite. Mm, gorgeous. <laughs> so we're going to do a swab on her skin. Yep. The big worry would be if she has a really bad bacteria that's resistant to a lot okay. of antibiotics. They can develop that uh, okay. just like people do. Yeah. Then we're in trouble, all sorts of trouble for possibly the rest of her life. We've got to take a, a holistic approach. We're going to throw everything at her because okay. she's suffering. Yeah. She's really suffering. Yeah, yeah, no, she definitely is. Can't have that. I'll probably never be able to cure her, but what I want to do is control it so we don't see any symptoms at all. Perfect. Gorgeous. Just get her looking cute again with long ears, that would be perfect. She used to have long coat. Yeah, yeah, she had the perfect Shih Tzu coat and then it just stopped growing. <laughs> it's just a gorgeous little breed. All right, let's just take a swab of that awful crust that she has on that foot. Good. Okay. Okay, that will go off to pathology. We're going to give her some antibiotics to kill the bacteria. We'll give her a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory for her skin. Shampoo that I've made up for her. It's not strawberries and cream, don't put it on your <laughs> ice cream. And we'll look at from the inside as far as the food that she's taking to try and give her a hypoallergenic diet. Put her onto this food. This is 
made by Prime 100. It's got a lot of science behind it, yep. I like it. It's only got one protein, a single protein, less allergens going through the body, and it's going to work a lot better on her skin. It's going to settle her right down. Let's hope with all of this, yep. we get the same results with her. Fingers crossed. Now. Introduce it slowly into her food, not too fast, just a little bit at a time. Yeah. And slowly decrease her current okay. food. Okay. So I don't know if she'll eat this or not today. What do you eat this? Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. She's a bit of a fussy eater sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, if there are any problems, I want to know about it straight away. Okay. If you're worried, don't be. Come and see me or give us a call okay. so we can find out. Otherwise, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yep. I'm going to say goodbye to her. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> so, any issues, let me know, but I'll yeah. see you in the fortnight. Perfect. Okay. Are you right with everything? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. perfect. I'll Thank that you. Come on. All the best. Thank you. See you then. Two weeks later, Megan has brought Bella back to see Rob for a checkup. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, more importantly, how's my little one? That gorgeous little face. Hey, <laughs> she's getting better. She's definitely oh making goodness. improvements. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Since eating the Prime 100 food, she's made a drastic improvement. Not much scratching. She has like happy days, she plays. She's not as red and cut anymore. The smell's gone too. Remember that awful smell? Yeah. Compared to what it was, it's yeah. really no, good it's, now. No, it's definitely improved. And it's, you know, yeah, it, you can see it's a bit pink, but it's not red in no. your face. No, she's not cutting herself open anymore. The scratching's like minimal. Yeah. She's I mean, like a bad day, not constant. Yeah. And I just love her face. I know. Honestly, that is the <laughs> cutest little face. And there's not as many crusts as there were either. No. So there's big improvement. She's good getting news. <laughs> yeah. Good news. Back you go to mum. She's happy, she plays with a toy, she's running around again, she's excited, she gets out of bed. <laughs> yeah, no, she's... Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.